Good day everyone! Today I'm going to discuss to you about discrete or continuous variable. Meron tayong tinatawag na variable. Ang variable can be classified into two, quantitative and qualitative. Ano nga ba pag sinabi natin quantitative? Pag sinabi natin quantitative, it, it can also be classified into, into two which is discrete and continuous. Ngayon, ano ibig sabihin ng discrete? Pag sinabi natin discrete, it is countable or nabibilang. Kapag naman sinabi natin continuous, it is measurable or nasusukat. Or, pag sinabi natin discrete, it only involves counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so forth and so on. However, pag sinabi natin continuous, it involves decimal. For instance, 1, 1.01, 1.5, So, merong decimal na involved. So, ibig sabihin, kapag may decimal na involved, that is continuous. Pero, kapag ito ay nabibilang lamang, or it only involves counting numbers, ibig sabihin, it we're dealing with discrete. Ngayon, ano ngayon yung pag sinabi natin qualitative? Pag sinabi natin qualitative, the answer is words or description. Halimbawa, Pag tinanong ko kayo ng favorite color of your parents, hindi mo sasabihin sa akin 1, 2, or 3. Kasi color yung tinatanong. So, either ang maaari nyo sabihin sa akin ay red, blue, pink. So, dahil word ang maaari mong banggitin, ibig sabihin, we're dealing with a qualitative variable. Let's try an example. Number of messages you receive in FB. Okay, very good. That is quantitative discrete. Quantitative kasi number ang tinatanong kung ilan yung messages na nare-receive natin sa FB. Ngayon, is it discrete or continuous? So that is discrete. Bakit? Kasi nabibilang natin. Hindi naman natin, hindi, hindi to nag involve ng mga decimal point or decimal places. So since it involves counting number, Therefore, number of messages you receive in FB is quantitative discrete. Let's try another example. Weight of grade 11 students. So since number ang makukuha natin that we're dealing with weight, very good, that is quantitative. Since that is quantitative, it's either discrete or continuous. However, since it involves decimal, therefore that's quantitative continuous. Why? Pwede mo kasi sabihin sa akin na your weight is 57.5 kg. Or pwede mo sabihin sa akin your weight is 60.78 kg. Hindi siya laging eksakto na 60.80. So, ibig sabihin dahil ito ay sinusukat at ito in both decimal places, it, in, it means that you're dealing with quantitative continuous. Next, number of buildings in PNCHS. Since we're dealing with number, automatic, we're dealing with quantitative. But the question is, is it discrete or continuous? Okay, very good. That is discrete. Bakit siya discrete? Kasi nabibilang natin ang building sa PNCHS. So the answer is quantitative, discrete. Next, prepared subject of Hume students. Kapag tinanong ka kung anong preferred subject ng isang Hume student, hindi mo sasabihin sa akin limang subject kasi ang tinatanong preferred. Ibig sabihin, ano-ano yung mga subject na gusto ng mga Hume students? So, maaaring ang sagot mo ay Gen Math, English, Oral Com. So, ibig sabihin, since words ang magiging sagot natin dito, it implies that we're dealing with qualitative variable. Let's try last example. Monthly income of factory workers. So already know since we're dealing with monthly income, we're dealing with money, money related, it implies that we're dealing with quantitative. But the question is, kapag ba perang pinag-uusapan, we're dealing with discrete or continuous? Okay, very good. That is continuous. Why? Kasi may mga centavo tayo eh. Hindi naman lagi ang para mo or sinasahod ng mga factory workers. Isang libo, dalawang libo. So, merong may times na 2,150.75 pesos. So, yung sabihin may nag-involve na centavo or decimal places. Since may involve na decimal places dito, ibig sabihin, we're dealing with quantitative continuous. 
So that's all for today's discussion about discrete or continuous. I hope you've learned a lot for today's discussion. Thank you and happy math learning. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel and hit the notification bell button para updated kayo sa mga YouTube sa aming mga math video tutorials.